Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I'm coming by today to share just a quick tour of my polymer clay part of my studio. Here's all my tools on my tool caddy. It's just your typical polymer clay top tools. Um, my brushes. Um, rhinestones, cutters, stuff like that. Um, my pasta machine. Alright, in these drawers right here is my embossing powders. All three drawers. It's got a few tools in the top drawer. Tools up on top. Alright, I'm sure everybody has these. They're in the Sterilite, Sterilite, whatever they're called, drawers. They come from Walmart. This one's got um, my findings, my jump rings, eye hooks, I mean eye pins, head pins, bells, my E6000. Sorry, my E6000. Um, some, <laughs> some just random embellishments steampunk gears stuff like that this one actually has my polymer clay um, big blocks are under here um, a few boxes of super sculpey and stuff like that a um, couple of layers of the small blocks This thing, I know it's sideways for y'all, but, you know, it's one of those uh, pantry organizers. But, um, my pantry is too narrow. So, I wound up using them in here. It's got my mediums. Some bigger balls of paints. Um, my paper clay. Paper towels, more mediums. This one's just random pins. My clay tiles um, there's another little box of found items that my hubby brought home um, my uh -huh, my cards for my jewelry my dog buddy who's in the way right now <laughs> but trust me he doesn't care so um, my mica powders I've got a lot of mica powders. And they're just stored in mushroom containers. Alright. And of course, as usual, the minute he realizes I'm filming him, he jumps and runs. He hates to have his picture taken for some weird reason. This one has my resin, my dyes, my, um, uh-huh. <laughs> Mold putty, lordy. Um, my Illumilite powders. The bottom drawer of this one has very much the same. It's my other. Alright, this one has my extra. They're not extra, but um, polymer clay and resin things that I've made um, that I've used in other projects things I've molded stuff like that this one is all my resin over pours IOD molds faces stones stuff like that they're all resin pieces this is from a shell ashtray Again, another resin piece. So, sorry for all the jumping and bumping around. Um, this one has um, my stones. It's got some CZs, some rhinestones, some metal charms. It's got my um, walnut hollow um, polymer clay extruder. It's got an alphabet stamp set. 
um, some crushed aluminum foil tape, um, various other stones, and stuff. Alright, these are all my polymer clay bead boxes. Okay, all of my bead boxes, not necessarily all polymer clay. Um, over here on the end, these are polymer clay, glass beads, all polymer clay, um, stones, stone beads. And then these over here are other findings. My bead caps, toggle clasps, stuff like that. Up here is laces. Let's see. Some of those fake butterflies and dragonflies and stuff like that. Oh, here's my Angelina film. And some more. Oh, my mohair in the bottom. Alright. Um, two more boxes of polymer clay. Um, boxes for my Dremel tools. Um, some more glass beads. Um, uh, over on the right, my embossing folders. Some mediums. Mediums, mediums. Um, my uh, spackle paste. My sanding tub. Um, I've got two of these big wooden drawers that my husband made that store all my acrylic paints. Yep, I got two boxes full of acrylic paints. And I store them all upside down. It helps keep the air out and helps keep them from drying out. I've got four boxes of Super Sculpey for some weird reason. Uh, this is a drawer. I've got two of them that Hubby made that hold all of my acrylic paints. Yep, I got two drawers full, hundreds of bottles of acrylic paints. Um, one of them was from my mom. Um, I just told her I was taking them. <laughs> I've got four boxes of Sculpey, Super Sculpey for some real reason. Alright. Here's the other drawer of acrylic paints. Uh, my Silks Acrylics. My Twinkling H2O's. My Vivid Ultra Metallics. These are um, Deco Art Media. Alright, in the top drawer of this unit is my Stickles. My um, Deco Art Fluid Acrylics. My Lumiere paints, um, my Chroma Crackle, and over here, let's see if I, this is the glitter, the bags of glitter, um, chopped up clay, um, and my foils, my nail art foils, and my other foils for polymer clay. These two little shelving units, side by side right here. I've actually got three of them. Um, I've had them for 20 some odd years. And they've been in my craft room in various locations for, well, it's probably been a little more like 25 years. The second drawer houses my markers of various kinds. Um, big markets, stuff like that. Um, all of my colored pencils. All of my alcohol inks. Um, a few eyeshadows and stuff like that. My extra paint brushes. My. Mm hmm. Prisma colors. Oh, I was lost for words there for a second. This third drawer has my Swelligant. Over here is um, Mega Flakes and Gold and Silver. Um, flakes, my glass stones, some glass stain paints. Up there is my alcohol markers, um, buttons, a couple of projects, my tape storage, and my Lindy Stamp Gang, 
um, stamps, stamps, my, uh-huh, UV light. Just to give you an idea, these are my IOD molds. Stamps, 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 stamps. Stamp. Um, this tub also has stamps. All rubber unmounted stamps. My stencils. Rest of my stencils. More stamps. <laughs> this drawer just has um, tools and embellishments. This is a roll of magnet. My double sided sticky tape. Some mm -hmm, binder rings. My relics and artifacts. Burlap. And the drawer below it has much the same. Alright, I get asked quite often how I store my jewelry, and they're just in these tubs that are rather lousily labeled. And last but certainly not least, this is my new oven. Looks just like the old one. Pyrex dish with polyfill in the bottom, you know, like you stuff dolls with. It's got to be the polyfill kind. Sheet of tin foil on the top, sheet of aluminum foil, um, and my two oven thermometers. I can't stress how important an oven thermometer is, and I'll show you why. As you can see there, well, hopefully you can see, my dial is set over a hundred, but the temperature is only at 275. So. That's why it's critical to have an oven thermometer and to check your temperature. You may think it's right, but it's probably not. Alright, so just a quick scan of some of the stuff on my walls. These are made of cardboard. <laughs> cereal boxes, actually. A couple of my art dolls. A couple of blank pins from stuff that went to creativation this year resin pours sorry again for turning you on your side um just some more this is my wall of inspiration again excuse the pinholes Excuse the desk lamp. Alright. I think you've just about seen it all. I've got three more units on the other side of the room. Um, one six drawer <laughs> unit that has my paper flowers and other embellishments. I'll just leave it at that. I've got a little short three drawer one that has my buffer on top. And it's got the rest of my molds underneath. And then I've got another four drawer unit that's got my printer on top and it is my shipping station it's got my envelopes packing material printing labels my boxes stuff like that all right i think that's everything other than the giant tv over there and the giant fish aquarium so sorry i'm not going to show you that right now all right Please like and subscribe. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye for now.